Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of the South Blues Career Mode, episode 2 of the new Project Restart. And in today's episode we've got Colchester United in the Cup, we've got Leighton Orient, Harrogate, Warsaw and I think I believe that's Barrow. And we might push ahead and complete October in this episode as well, so that includes Stevenage, Bristol Rovers, Carlisle, Exeter, Bradford and Scunthorpe. So we're going to jump into the first game, it's going to be a simulated game. So we're going to jump into the first game. It's going to be a simulated game against Colchester in the Cup. Hopefully we can go and bag ourselves a win. List, Jones, Paul. It's obviously our front three. Midfield three of Marion, Nixon and Valakari. Wilkins, Boxall, Fiola and Alho on the, in defence with Holmes in goal, of course. Hopefully we can grab a win in our first game. We draw. Fiola gets our goal and Chilvers gets the goal for Colchester United. That's not a bad start in the, uh, in the Cup. We're going to go ahead now to the high boss. I was having a quick overview. My current deal hasn't got along. Talbot, uh, I'll deal with the situation, son. I've got your mind. Don't worry, Conor McGoughlin. Um, yeah, we've got uh, Leighton Orient up next in the league. Um, Fiola position change option has been complete. Is that completed? Not sure why I can't do that there. He's ready to switch play at the position. So if we go to the development, we can now complete him to a centre back, which is good for his development in the long run. And uh, the Colin McGoughlin, I think I've got him developing to be a centre back already. So I have. So that's good. Right. Let's go. Uh, we'll probably simulate this game against Leighton Orient as they we're at home. The team is very tired. Hopefully we can grab a win. We lose 3-0. Drinnen, Smythe and Clay with the goals. A little bit annoying there. We dropped down to 14th in the league after one, one loss. We went from 7th to 14th. That is really frustrating. We've got a transfer offer in for Walsh. Uh, they've offered 100k for Sebastian Walsh. Um, I'll be willing to accept that. Get some money into the club for January. Longford have now come in for Walsh. We will also accept that, and he'll go to whatever club he prefers. Obviously, Longford have accepted, a, uh, have offered a little bit more money, so I'd prefer if he went to Walford, uh, Longford. Sorry, Harrogate Town up next. We've got a transfer offer in for Leeds. He is a centre-back slash CDM, 30 years old. They've offered 490. Why? Who is this guy and why doesn't he play? Please. Uh, he's not very quick. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll happily accept her. If the, right, well, if the money is right, I will be willing to accept an offer for Leeds. They've offered 490. We'll go and negotiate that. We'll ask for 600 and see what they say. They're willing to pay 600 for a player we don't use. I'll happily accept that in January. And we will take the money and run, pretty much. Okay, with Harrogate up next, can we get ourselves a win? Fifth in the league. We've got a fairly fit side. Doesn't make sense, does it? Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Come on, then. Let's jump into it. In our uh, very so nice away kit. For the home side. 
Well, for a while, I'm not bothered about their team. Let's just jump into it. We can Jake Jones and uh, Elliot List up front. Hopefully, we can get ourselves get a decent win markers. here against and fifth the in the league. Players being good in one v one situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Jones. There's the pull here. I know he's got a decent week for Nixon. Ricky J. Jones is through the gap. And if he's onside, we've made it 1-0 straight away inside five minutes. I think he's onside. That is a great through ball from Nixon there. And we are 1-0 up inside five minutes. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And good he finish, finish, good pass, so easy. good run. 1-0. One nil. Well done, Ricky. So underway again here. One nil to score. Lewis Paul into Ricky J. Jones. Jones. One more to Elliot List. This looks He's found his man to try and go round the keeper. He's got to score. Good save from and the goalkeeper there. I think he's headbutted the post in the absolute... meantime. Will he play it in? He takes aim. And it goes! The How is that going in? Thrilling stuff here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But That's you do pathetic. have to ask questions of the keeper. How has that gone Could in? What is the goalkeeper here? doing? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. I oh, know I've got a really bad goalkeeper. Wow. So back underway. They've leveled it at one. Switch it there. Cool. Elliot List going to well, hit this first time, green timed, and that is in the back of the net. What a goal, what a finish. 2-1 in the 37th minute, Elliot List and Ricky J. Jones. What a partnership up front they are. Well, here's the goal again. That was a very a really good goal. Nice ball to put him Paul with a the great ball through. And obviously and I did green time finish it. The goalkeeper couldn't save it. And we make it 2-1. No what a good finish. go again try and hold on to this lead well underway again it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand can we build on it oh, good it's great ball through to diamond here can he equalize if oh they've missed it it was almost a perfect ball across to smith well i think it was up front can it's Doesn't nice it's nicely done cool there here. Down the line into Potter. Can he get there? He doesn't, but he manages to buy us some time. Time is up, and that is the win. Holmes is going to be able to hold home to that. And we've won the game and got three points away from home in League Two against Harrogate Town. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory does do is put us into fourth in the league granted we've played before the other teams play but it does put pressure on some of the teams around me obviously we've leapfrogged Harrogate as well we've got a transfer offer in for Wright 140k Isaac Wright Tianjin um, I'm going to accept that because I don't know who he is don't think it's the guy that starts. No, it's Wilkins, isn't it? Which is fine. So let's simulate forward a little bit and see where we finish up in the league. I think we went down to ninth there. We've got a scout report in for Alex Hurst. I'm not sure who he is. He's loan listed. We might be able to bring him in as a super sub. Uh, Walsh has sold for 110k. And we've got a transfer offer in for Walker. 
Uh, they've offered a hundred. Oh, okay, so I've already accepted a hundred and forty. So I'll let that. I'll let that run and see if the uh, the deal goes through. Because I don't want to. I don't want it to ruin it like it did on the last one. So we're down in ninth now. Lee's has also sold four hundred and twenty-five k. Will be allocated to my transfer budget as soon as possible. Next, we've got Warsaw, who are two positions ahead of us in the league. We're both on 11 points. England beating Ireland 2-0. Well, manager rating is 100. A 100 manager rating, is that even possible? I didn't think it was. Bright has also sold, so another 90k will be allocated to us. Right, Warsaw in the league. Hopefully we can get ourselves a win here. Please give me a win. We lose again with a simulated game. Kinsella and Kernan with the goals. Unfortunately, we do lose once again. We fall down to 12th in the league now, which isn't great. Barrow up next. I don't know where Barrow are going to be in the league. Scrimshaw grabs Player of the Month award for Scunfort. We've got Barrow now in the league. We are going to play this one. Five at the back. Um, hopefully we can go get a win. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, if form is any guide, Stuart, there should be only one team in this. The hosts with a spectacular goal scoring record. We've conceded 13 goals this season. The opponents have been guilty of chaos. Barrow have been defending. good at home. Well, Derek, these fans come here. Right, let's jump into this game against Barrow. And I can understand Hopefully, we can get ourselves a win or a point let's hope it's not minimum. Side, really, though. we don't really want to be losing this game. And back with Gordon. Fluency of movement. Although Barrow going down the other end here, can they? make something happen and the cross into Zanzala who's that will do it they've been pushing for it and now they've been rewarded well here's the replay and what a well delivered cross this is what is Perfectly that from the placed. goalkeeper and then it's a really clever header he doesn't try and head it too hard but just loops it back into the far corner that's a great finish what is that animation <laughs> from the wide areas and played in not sure and a goal. they're going to take some stopping now two in front here we go 2-0 behind against Barra Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper sure with what little chance. Doing. It's a great goal. Very timely interception. Bruh, plays for Bauer. <laughs> oh, that's a poor touch. I've done well to don't get the to it, J. Jones. Now you're on. Can we get a goal back oh, for half time? Chance. Referee, get in. I thought Brett, the keeper was going to take him out, but he manages to get there and somehow squeezes it into the back of the net. 2-1, just before half-time. And I very much like our away kit. 
And there it is. The half-time whistle is... An attack full of promise. And an astute piece of defending. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then just take a look at this, Derek. He sees the keeper off his line, and it's such a classy finish. Just lifts it over him. Beautiful goal. Could be threatening. Promising possession, this. Ricky J. Jones goal! makes it to a uh, 3-2. Exactly Get down the other end, boys, and start again. Tackling Do not get it back. To boot. He's going forward Ooh, well here. A run. There you go. Oh. Interception to snuff out the danger. It takes six years to make a run. And that is the end of the And that is loss. That is a loss. 3-2 against Barrow away from home. Unfortunately, we don't get a win. We're going to go and simulate a few more games. Hopefully, we can pick up a few more wins that way. It is a bit frustrating this game at the moment. Apparently List is playing well, but I don't remember the last time he scored. Nice town, beat Palace 3 2 in the London Derby. Transfer offer in for Talbot. I don't know who he is. I'm going to accept and get him out of the club. Who have we got next? Scunthorpe, who are in 12th. So they're again ahead of us in the league. Uh, we get a youth squad monthly report. Slomani is good enough now. He's obviously being trained as a striker for me. His stats are looking a lot better. Um, Crawford's poor. Rabiot is poor. And Aznizdimov is poor. Morales, I'm still waiting to call up because I want to use him as my main goalkeeper. And then obviously Slomani, I can call up, but I just don't think he'll get enough game time at the moment. So I'll keep him in there as long as I can. Right, let's simulate this against Scunthorpe. Hope we can pick up another win. Because we haven't had a win in a while. Draw 2-2, two, two, we get a point. List and Jones with the goals. Maybe jo wonder if Jones made a run in that game. Now down to 15th in the league. Uh, we've got Valakari, Boxall, Kerwin, Wilkins and Fiola all on international duty. Three uh, New Zealand players. I was going to say Aussies then, but they're not Aussies, are they? Talbert has sold. He'll, uh, we'll get the money in for him in January. Right. Bradford. They're now fourth. Why are we just playing players that are like a lot higher than us in the league? Right, can we get a win with this simulated game? We do. Ricky J. Jones gets himself a brace as we beat fourth in the league, Bradford. We finally get a win. Three massive points should put us up into the, well, up into the reaches of the top half of the table now. Bradford now asked, oh, they dropped to fifth. Colchester on 25 points. We're on, so we're 10 points away from the top. Colchester are currently unbeaten. We've got a transfer offer in for Walker. I thought we accepted that ages ago. <laughs> Maybe it didn't go through. We've got, who have we got next? Is it Exeter? Was it, it is Exeter City. So 12th versus 13th up next. Another game we will probably simulate. I do want to end this episode in today's episode. They've offered Joe Gorman and 37K for Lewis Dale. Who is Joe Gorman? 27 year old left back, really slow. Worth 130. Dale is... No, let's negotiate that because they're always interested in Dale. 
who else have they got that could be good? They have got a very bad, low rated side. Give me 160k. And you can have him. Fair enough. That's a deal. Right, Exeter away from home. Can we get a win? Five at the back again. So I'm glad I'm not playing this myself. We do. Nixon and Jones with the goal. Sparks gets one back for Exeter, but we managed to hold on to a 2-1 win. Well, we don't hold on. We n n grab it late in the 89th minute. We're up to 8th in the league now. Alho's completed his training to an inverted wing back, giving him a 4-star weak foot. We'll do it again so he gets a 5-star weak foot. Um, Saroy has also completed his development plan. We'll try and put him on it again. He would definitely actually be better as a cam. 104 weeks, apparently. I'm going to train him as a cam, cam and see what he does. He might not even be here in 100 weeks. Walker does not want to leave, does he? Right, we've now got Carlisle in the league. We're at home. We should be winning this, even if we simulate it. They're at bottom of the league, and we're at home. Come on. We do manage to hold on to a win. Louis Paul and Marin get the goals to beat uh, Carlisle 2-1. Clough gets a goal for them. Where does that put us in the league now? It's got to be into the playoffs by now. We are. We're into seventh, fortunately enough. Um, have Colchester lost yet? They have. They've lost two since we looked. They've lost both their last two games since we saw that they were unbeaten. Right, so we've got one or two. Or another transfer offer in for Walker. He doesn't want to leave, apparently. I don't know what's wrong with him. I think we've got Bristol Rovers to end the month. We might have two games to end the month, but I'm not 100% sure. Dale has sold. I bet Walker doesn't sell. Bristol Rovers are top of the league, and then we've got Stevenage. So, I'm going to simulate this game against Bristol Rovers. If we win it, I'll be over the moon, but I can't see us winning this. Obviously, they've just taken first place over Colchester. Yeah, we get smashed. Pittman and Collins and Couts gets the goals. We lose 3-0. Right, and to end the episode, we've got a game against Stevenage coming up. Right, it's completed his development. I don't really care. I don't know where Stevenage are in the league, but if we can get a good result and get three points, we might be able to climb the table a little bit. They're down in 20th. We've got a full strength side, fully fit. Can we get a win in our final game of the episode? No, we lose. Concede another three goals. Varga, Reed, and Lyons with the goals. Jones gets one back for us, but that's not enough. And we go down to... I wouldn't even want to guess in the league. Right, in tomorrow's... Oh, in the next episode, we've got uh, the first round of the FA Cup against Warsaw. Um, we've then got Hartlepool, Oxford... Swindon, Colchester, and I believe Crawley. And then we'll do uh, we'll do December as well. So I think that's Port Vale. Is that? Um, not sure who this team is here. We've got Rochdale, Lake Norian, and Forest Green. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, quickly have a look at the board expectations. don't know why we're a manager rated of 100 but yeah if you've enjoyed leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Good.